Today I'm going to be showing you how I schedule my workouts and plan out each exercise and then how I log it. And I have finally come up with a system that does everything and it's a lot more organized than I used to have it because I used to write down what I was doing for my workout kind of sporadically in my planner and then I would try to keep a log of what I did and then by the time I got home I couldn't really remember like well, what weight did I use for this and like did I even really do that? Did I do my full ab routine or like half of it? Did I add anything new? Etc. Etc. So I'm going to show you guys how I do all of that plus give you some tips on where you can find really great resources for fitness plans, nutrition plans, and some of my favorite um, resources for that. So let's just get started. So first things first, planning. You want to structure your workout so that you are getting in, you know, the right movements for your body each day. And you want to split it up. Now, let's say you're training for, I don't know, like a triathlon or a marathon and you have specific cardio routines that you need to do. Um, you'll probably have a set schedule for that. I could do a whole nother video on like training for runs and stuff because I do that. But I go on to my Google Calendar. You can do this in another calendar system. But I have a color code and I have each day divided up by what I'm doing. So I can say, okay, here's the cardio that I'm doing for the day. I can see what lifts I'm doing and if I'm going to yoga or CrossFit or if I have a specific class that I'm taking at my gym like grit, body pump, um, I can schedule that in. Now each muscle group has a color so that I know what I'm working that day. So chest, shoulders, tries, dark green, and then my legs are purple and my cardios are blue and just you know I split it up that way um, so then I can look at that calendar each day and say okay so for this coming up week this is how I need to structure my actual workout routine so moving on to my next step which is how I schedule each routine there are tons of resources online for where you can get different workouts. You can get them from magazines like Fitness, Self, Shape Magazine. So it's kind of specific to what you're used to or what you're working on, some of your goals, your own personal fitness goals. Maybe you're not like a heavy lifter, um, then you could stick to more full body toning routines. Maybe you don't do CrossFit, so that just doesn't even get put on your schedule. Um, but for me, I have to find balance because I do long distance running and triathlons, and then I also do heavy lifting and CrossFit, so the two of them together, you have to really kind of plan out what you're doing because before I had this system, I wasn't focusing enough on specific body parts and I was starting to feel like I wasn't utilizing my time as well and certain areas I was like, I'm not as defined here, my muscles going down here, like what am I doing wrong? And it was because, you know, I would go to CrossFit and do a lot of shoulder work and then the next day, at the gym, I would be like, oh, let's do shoulders, and I would kind of forget that, you know, what I did the day before, because I wasn't logging it, and then I would, like, forget leg day for, like, two weeks, so, um, this system has helped me a lot, and I'm going to list a bunch of different resources, I love bodybuilding.com, Tone It Up is great for, um, slimming down, having, like, a lean tone physique, and then my new favorite workout is Clutch by Ashley Conrad, that girl is so killer. Um, she is one of my all-time fitness inspirations, so you guys can check her and Amber Elizabeth out. Um, I'll have their links in the down bar. This is my journal that I take with me to the gym, and I know it's very hardcore. It's glittery and pink. And um, on the inside here, I'll show you guys a close-up of this, but I have a breakdown of the muscle groups because so, sometimes you just need like a review of what you're working on. So I'll give you a perfect example of a day that was really uh, colorful. <laughs> so I did what I have is mixed cardio. So on my schedule, that would be navy blue. And my cardio is I did 10 minutes on the treadmill. So that was 1.25 miles. This was my warm up, my intensity. So what speed and resistance or um, in, uh, speed and uh, what the heck is it called? Incline I did it at and if I did sprints I keep track of that then I have E for elliptical which is um, I did 10 minutes that was 1.15 miles at 6 to 7 resistance so that was speed work and then I did the stair mills for 10 minutes and you can see how I broke this down here this was for 2 minutes at level 15, 1 minute at 10, and then every minute on the minute I switch. I do sprint intervals on there. 
Then in the strength section, I write down what I did. So I did push, pull, leg, and full. Now push is chest, shoulders, triceps. Pull is back and um, biceps So oh, and forearms. So right here, I took a grit class, which was 30 minutes. And I put it as a full body class, but it was a lot of shoulder work. It was heavy lifting shoulders. Um, and then you can see here, so this was all green. So that has to do with the push movements. Jump tucks, um, they work your core. And then I did 35 pound bar, clean, clean and press, press. So this is all, again, this is arm work. Um, overhead squats, again, so that's legs. And because it was an overhead squat, which engages your core, I underline this in orange, which is my core color. Burpees and surfer jumps, those are all um, full body, like cardio movements. Um, and so, so on and so forth, you can kind of see how I broke it down. Then on the back page, it says what class I took, so it was grit, and then how many miles I achieved for Tone It Up, and then some notes about how I felt. At the end of the week, I can go in and really see what I did. And then I will show you my second system, which is my Filofax. Now unfortunately it doesn't stop there, so I used to use my Filofax to keep everything organized and pink was my health section. And I had my color code system here, let's see, and this is my half marathon training which I'm really really not even following because I run so much anyway. But what I do keep here now is only very specific information for tri training. So if I do um, swim time trials, these all get logged back here. I just keep it separate because it is a completely different sport. You can see how I have these all organized. So at the end of the year, I can see how many rest days I took. And for the week, I can see what I did that day for what body part. So I hope you guys thought that this video was helpful. I know for me it can be kind of overwhelming to have a good structured workout plan and this has kind of eased up my anxiety about figuring out what I'm doing every day for my workout. And it's a good way to see how you um, improve and like just see how your numbers improve. Um, you can also keep track of your weight, your measurements, you know, how heavy you're lifting and all that. So um, if you guys like these kind of videos, let me know and I will talk to you soon. Bye!